welcome back to part 5 of Node.js tutorial and this episode I will show you how the global object works in Node.js so let's get started I want to start my app by Nutman. If you don't have Nutman, you can install it by npm install as globally Nutman, or you can uh, and then click enter, or you can install as dev dependencies. Okay, then click enter but I have installed it from before All um, the global objects as we see in the documentation, they are global object. For example, console is a global object. Okay, console is global object. You don't need to import anything more, or the global itself is. itself as global object okay or buffer also as a global object Okay, for example, this. Okay, this is a buffer. Also, you can write something in buffer. Buffer dot write. Hey dear, how are you? 
welcome to Node.js okay as you can see now the buffer is full you can return the string by this string function from the buffer as you can see just hey dear how are you because the size of buffer is 20 if you make this greater then it will return 40 characters okay also process as a global object for example process.std out.write hi friends okay and their name file name also is a global object for example the IR name which returns the absolute directory okay which we are inside it or we are inside working this is the absolute file name written the absolute directory with plus the file name also Okay, no problem. You can print it by console that luck. Console that luck file name. Oh sorry, here we have a mistake. As you can see file name returns the absolute directory plus the file name okay so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Goodbye.